Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday, the very last Tuesday of the year. This morning I'm going to do my work reflection for the year. I've already done all my personal ones and there are some things I may share and some things I may not, but this is my work reflection so for those who have been following me for just a little bit or for who have been following me for a while, these are all the things that I've done or changed this year to try to serve you better. In the beginning of the year, I created a raw food presentation because I was watching a lot of documentaries and participating in workshops to learn how to talk about raw food and how to bring that information to you. Also created a pet food labels presentation because I find a lot of pet parents aren't quite sure how to read the pet food labels which it can be very confusing because the same ingredient can have three different names depending on what company that you're looking at. So I find it's really important and that's why I put that one together. I put my business on Google My Business, which if you're wondering what that is, um, if you type in Birch Animal Wellness into Google, it will come up with my work hours and pictures of previous clients and reviews rather than just my website and my Facebook page and my YouTube page. <laughs> so if you have had a session with me and you're happy with it, I would love, or not happy with it, I would love to hear what you have to say. So if you want to leave me a review, I would be happy to respond to you that way too. I changed the way that I present on social media, mostly because at the beginning of the year, or at least the end of last year, I think I was posting almost every day on Instagram and I realized that the constant, I was told anyway, that the constant presence is what you want so people will remember that you exist. But for me, it's more about showing up authentically than just trying to shove content down your throats because I know that's not what you want. On Facebook, I changed my posting schedule because I used to try and post almost every day, every week, and that was a lot. So I still have my, for 2020, I'm still gonna have my Facebook Lives on Tuesday mornings because that seems to be when most of you guys are on and that morning works for me. Um, later in the week, usually either Friday or Saturday, once or twice on a Sunday, um, I'll have an Instagram Live and I will try to post more regularly on Instagram. My Birch Animal Wellness posts will try to be on Mondays on Instagram because I know you guys um, tend to like my uh, Motivational Monday posts. I can track all of that stuff on my business page and you seem to really like those. Which I put together on Canva if you're curious where all of the images and things come from. I redesigned my website again, <laughs> which I tend to do every year, but this time um, I added an online booking option for distance therapies only, which are flower essences, animal communication, and Reiki. So if you want any of those by distance for your animal, you can book those through my website. My, When you go to book the appointment, you'll be shown available times. Because I have now linked my work schedule to my Google Calendar, which took a bit of about a month to transition, um, you can now see when I'm free to book me and when I'm not because I have to keep constantly updating my Google Calendar um, as new appointments come in. I wrote a couple of articles at the beginning of the year. They are on a blog. Um, it's positively green at WordPress, but paw as in like a dog's paw. Um, one was about punishment versus reinforcement in terms of training styles. One was about animal chakras, the seven chakras and what each one is, how to help and how to know if it's unbalanced. And to be honest, it was so long ago, I forget the third one. Um, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit more of that because I do like writing. I just tend to not have a lot of time for it or as much as I would like. I redesigned my brochures, which if you haven't seen, I haven't put out too many of my new ones yet, but unfortunately I did um, 
print them before I finish my animal communication certification. So that is not on there, but my new email is on there, which is birchanimalwellness at gmail.com if you don't know. Um, and it, it, it is now linked to eTransfers, so you can send the money to that one now, which I just did a couple of days ago. Um, I became Tall Grass Canada's lead instructor, and only instructor right now. Um, that was about six months of training for that. So I taught my very first acupressure class in October. It was supposed to be at the beginning of the month, but I got real sick, and I was near the end of the month. I also taught um, another round of Reiki and my very first ART master level Reiki, which was a really fun experience for me and I'm glad that I did it. Um, and the student had a really wonderful time, so that's really great too. Um, so I did do my animal communication certification this year and that is a new service that I'm offering. It tends to be fairly popular because it can be done over distance and it can be done on animals that have passed which a lot of people, after a span of three months, were allowed to do it on animals that have passed just to make sure that their spirit and everything have crossed over. So people tend to really like being able to communicate that to their animals that have crossed over. No, no matter how many years ago it was, I think I had one, their animal passed over 10 years ago, and they were really excited to finally get some closure on that. I also did a traditional Chinese medicine food energetics course available from Tallgrass, and you get to learn a lot about the energetics of food. Some foods are hot and cold energetically, not physically. And when, depending on what condition your animal has, you can adjust feeding them that way, which I thought was really interesting. Um, I also finished a veterinary assistant course, which I haven't exactly told anybody because the certificate is still in the mail and it won't be here until probably the second or third week of January, and then I was going to make a post about it, but for those who watch this, you get to know. I officially launched Tallgrass Canada, which was probably since April in the making, so that was really exciting. We have the Shopify site, which is where you can browse the courses and everything like that, which took a while to put together, and then we have the online learning portal, where if you take online classes, um, that's where all the classes are, the quizzes, the information, and everything like that. That's where you submit your um, short answer questions, multiple choice tests, and essays. And I get to grade all of those, which is fun for me. I did animal communication at my first live event this year, which was really interesting because I've never done readings at a live event before. And it was a lot busier than I thought. I barely had time to eat but it was a lot of fun and I'm really glad that I did it. I started doing more live collaborations, which means I had to learn basic video editing because I'm not a techie person in that aspect. So I had a lot of help from um, one of my friends, Vanessa. Vanessa, if you're watching this, um, thank you for your help again. Um, I did one on Canadian horses. I did a couple of online collaborative lives and then I did a couple more where I shot with the camera, the content, edited it together, and then published that video. So that was really fun. I'm glad. I'm lining up a bunch for next year. I'm going to try and do one a month, depending on people's availability. But I already have about seven or eight professionals who have confirmed that they will do it. Um, one is earlier in the year, two are in the spring, summer, and one is at the end of the year. So, so far, so good. I'm looking forward to sharing all of their wisdom with you. I wrote a nutrition ebook. In case you're wondering or missed that, um, I believe it was in September, August or September. Um, and it's basically just the nutritional basics, so what they need physically. It covers vitamins, minerals, amino acids, everything like that. It took a while to put together because I had to read through the NRC's requirements and kind of go from there. There is a bit about probiotics and things like that too, which I talked to my friend Lucy about, who I just did two collaborations with in the last couple of weeks. So if you haven't seen that, feel free to hop over to my video section of my Facebook page and check that out because she's absolutely wonderful. That's where I get Kaya's food. 
I did two, one or two five day challenges. And I find that when I get really excited about a five day challenge and I put it all together, people are like, yeah, this is so great. Do the first day and then don't do the rest. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do less of those and maybe more like a contest that's only one day or something like that, just to see what you guys prefer because my content is made for you. So if you don't like it, then I want to change it to something that you do like. Other than adding some work tasks at Google Keep, which if you don't know what that is, it's an absolutely amazing task management system where you can just keep track of all your projects and all the steps required to complete all the projects. So when I was doing my ebook, this is what I did. I said I have to do research on vitamins, I have to do research on minerals, and then I have to organize it in that way and then get the nutritional like daily requirements for each one and it helped me not miss anything when I was putting it together. But as we're doing a reno in April, it'll be really helpful for me to keep track of everything. But that's my work reflection. If you have anything you want to see, don't be shy. I'm more than happy to accommodate. I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day. It is the very end of the year and the decade. And I hope that the last year and 10 years brought you growth and joy and all of the wonderful things. I know a lot of people I know have had a really hard year this year for whatever reason. 2019 is not a lot of people's favorite year. So I hope that you learned something important this year. You're going to use it to grow and become a better version of yourself in the future years. Have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you. I think the next Facebook Live is next Tuesday, but there will be an Instagram Live at some point the end of next week. Have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you next year.